Okay, and we are back. Now, the second part when you are composing an action track is the second, it's, it's a very critical part, is your strengths. You have to master playing your strengths. Now, you don't have to be a, a, a violin player or a cello player or anything like that, but you do need some keyboard skills here. And basically, when, you, when you're dealing with strings, you're going to need about, you make a decent action track, you're probably going to need about four tracks just for your strings, okay? Because um, you're going to probably need a low end, you're going to need uh, a little bit of higher end, maybe even a higher end, and then you're going to need some form of staccato, right? And so, basically, one of the tools that I use, and, and it's, it's not exclusive, but this is one of my go-to tools, is the Vienna uh, Symphony Orchestra uh, samples from uh, Contact Player with Native Instruments. It comes with Native Instruments complete for those who have it, you know, the full player, or it comes with Contact Player, but you're better off buying complete. It's only a hundred extra bucks. But in any event, it gives you uh, uh, all the different articulations. It sounds great. And once again, it has, you know, all the different types of uh, effects and that sort of thing built in built into the player now when you uh when you when you want to play your strings and what and reason and the reason i start out with percussion i changed the percussion just a little bit the reason we start out with that is because it, the percussion is going to give you inspiration now we have percussion going so we're going to pick out a bass string player Now, that's a simple uh, bass, uh, a low, low end string. Not a, it's not a bass, it's a low end string. But that's something that's going to get us going, right? And, and building our tracks. So we're going to record that just to. Now. As usual, as I record, I like to quantize everything to uh, to one sixteenth note. It just pretty much keeps everything on track. But now, we now we're developing a bass, right? Right. So now, now we've developed a decent sounding bass for what it is that we're trying to do. Okay. So the next thing we want to be able to do is we want to be able to uh, go ahead <clears throat> and look at our next string. Now, <clears throat> again, as we talked about before, uh, we want to have about maybe three to four tracks for strings. <clears throat> but one of the things we want to do with strings, you have to understand staccato strings, okay? Um, staccato is your you know, it's generally your one note, your um, usually like an eighth or sixteenth note string, sort of like a right. That's what that's what you want to be. Right, and that that really gives that punch to the action track that you're trying to go through. So let's so let's play around a little bit and see if we can get a nice staccato sound to go along with uh, with the low end and the drums that we got here. Okay, now, again, right now we're, we're building a base around what we want our, um, 
about what we want our uh, action track to sound like. Okay, so now we got. Right. So now, again, as I said before, you're going to need multiple sections uh, for your strings. OK, you're going you're, you're gonna, to you're gonna need multiple sections. So. Now that we got our low end, we got our staccato. Now we're going to need kind of a higher string to kind of to kind of accent it out a little bit. So and again, we're still we're still using our. Um, our uh, contact player, our um, orchestra, orchestra package, that, orchestra package that comes with contact player. Very good, very good sounding. And again, you're not going to get, you know, you're going to get about ninety percent of what uh, you're going to get in having a real orchestra come in and play. You're not going to get one hundred percent of a live orchestra, right? Anybody who tells you that they're not, they're not being honest. But since most composers, particularly composers who uh, working out of their home computer don't have a hundred thousand dollars to go out and rent a 35 piece orchestra and then rent a big large recording studio for hours at a time to go in and do that okay most of us are going to be doing this on our computer okay and so we want to get them when we're doing it on our computer we want to get the best possible package that's going to give us the best possible sound and again you're going to get between 90 and 95 percent which is really 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 all you're going to need because the people that you're, the people who are going to be listening to the music are generally somebody that's going to be watching a film, right? It's not going to be some expert, right? With you know, with uh, ten thousand dollars speakers that's sitting there trying to analyze every articulation you did. No, you want to get something that sounds good, something that can be put in, in you know, the background scene in the movie, and that sort of thing. So, so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and we want to accent this out a little bit with some high end strings. So let's play around a little bit and see what we can find on this. Looks like we, we might have a bar here. We might have a phrase here. So let's try it out. Okay. Now, again, we're gonna we're gonna uh, quantize this and make it like it's there. So now we got. Okay, it sounds like we have a nice uh, base going here to get to get our um, to get to, to get our uh, action track going. We got right now we have three levels of strings here. We're probably going to add another one, so a little bit higher, um, a little bit higher uh, octave on that, just to you know, just as as we as we go in through the build up, because that's normally how we're going to do. It. We're going to start out. At, at a basic level and then we're going to build it up a little bit when we arrange it right now we're just, right now we're just getting all the tracks laid right this is this is my method right i like to lay all my tracks out hear how everything sounds together and then i'll arrange it from there okay so we're gonna so far we have three levels of strings. we're gonna add one more just to try to give it a little bit of extra uh punch <laughs> We're just gonna add just some highs here, just to.
just to give it a little bit of a, a accent to it. We may we may or may not keep it, but we just want to do it just for tutorial sake, just so you can understand that you need you're gonna need you know at least three to four levels of strings in, in any one of your tracks. So let's try it out. Okay, so now we have, again, three levels of strings. We're going to accent it out to quantize uh, it at 116th. Now, when you start adding all these levels of strings, and one thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pan it a little bit, right? And the reason being is because you don't you don't want this stuff to be clashing, right? So we want it to, um, yeah, but that's part of the mixing process. Okay, so now what we have right now is we've laid our strings down and the next uh, session we're going to go through and we're going to talk about some of the other tools that we're going to use to add to this track, this basic track that we just began to, to record, okay? All right, see you in the next session. Thank you.